Did the Bible say for all have seen? All have seen. All. Amen. All the disciples that were following Jesus, none of them was born again. None of them was born again. Jesus' disciple, no, not even one of them was born again. In the midst of those disciples, we have adulterers, we have killers, we have liars, we have armed robbers. In the midst of those disciples, they were full of the S men. Peter was a full of the S man, always with the sword. They were not born again. If Jesus could manage them, if Jesus did not condemn them, then who are you to condemn me? Who am I to condemn me? And Jesus said, Woman! Woman! Where I go, I accuse you! He said, I don't see them again. He said, Neither do I accuse you. God was not looking for perfect people because he does not call those that qualify. He qualified those he called. If Jesus were looking for qualified people, people like the Apostle Paul, Peter, all of them, Judas, would not be found among the disciples. Mighty man of valor. Why is your life still on the ground? Someone somewhere is seeing you as not qualified to be in that position. Someone somewhere is seeing you as not worthy to be in that situation. You can't be here. You are not worthy to be here. And you are more qualified than the person. They use everything they have to block you. Why? Because they don't want you to get there. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Can we say I'm with you? I want to show you something. Look! God can use anybody. Such a thing, everyone. Walk up to five people. Look that eyeball to eyeball and say, look at me. God can use anybody. Five people, five people, five people, five people. Anybody. If you believe in Santa, hallelujah! Are you there? Yes, sir. The Bible is filled with murderers, robbers, liars. This is the man who wrote the Bible that me and you are preaching today. Murderers, and robbers, liars, killers. Sinners. Number one, Moses was a murderer. Are you not aware? Moses was a murderer. And that was the only man the Bible said he saw God. Number two, Peter, a liar. Peter has the highest degree in liology. In fact, as a matter of fact, Peter was a biological liar. I am one of the greatest apostles. Are you communicating? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Please make sure you push something down. Make sure, make sure. I want I'm taking you somewhere. That the Bible said that David, oh David, oh David. That one was fast. David go right was fast. David was an adulterer at the same time, a murderer. Two, two dangerous things on one person. An adulterer and at the same time, a murderer. Can I ask you a question? Did God condemn him? If you are not talking, that means you are a sinner. Did God condemn David? Okay, you are not a sinner. Clap for yourself. Amen. 
Are you there? What about Paul? Paul too. Paul too. A murderer. What about Noah? What do you know about Noah? What did you know about Noah? Bible scholars. Eh? You say? Who says so? I will give you one five before Christmas. <laughs> Noah was what? A drunker. Great one drunker. God did not push him away. Above all, Abraham blesses Samar. Abraham blesses Samar. I am blessing the morning and blessing the evening. Abraham blesses Samar. He is the father of all lives. He came back to life. At that second, the next person was Abraham. And this man, God did not condemn them. Amen? They are the major reason why we are on this topic. Oh, Father, help me. There's no time. The major reason why we are on this topic. Gideon. Somebody shout Gideon. Gideon. Somebody shout Gideon now. Gideon. Shout Gideon again. Gideon. Who was Gideon? An idol worshiper. Who was Gideon's father? A chief priest. Gideon's father was the, was the highest babalawo in that community. And Gideon was the one that was killing all the chicken around the goat that we're bringing to the shrine. <laughs> are you here, church? Please listen to what I am telling you. It's going to help you. Gideon, an idol worshiper. Gideon's father, a chief priest. Babalawo and Piki. Babalawo, two of them. Babalawo, come Babalawo, equal to Babalawo. Babalawo, uh, no listen. They are people. Babalawo, Babalawo. And God said, Gideon, a mighty man of God. What is Babalawo? A mighty Babalawo. Babalawo, no Babalawo. Equal to what? Babalawo. We are the people. Ask him. God, speak Gideon. I said, Gideon. I don't care the background you came out from. I don't care whether your forefathers are Babalawo. Now you be the person we will save your community. It does not matter the state you are now. You are that mighty man that God is looking for. Oh, these people are not his spirit. You're not his spirit. You are not his spirit. You're not his spirit. You're not his spirit. Amen. I just see the names I made for you now. The subject of this topic. Is Gideon. Gideon. I don't worship him. Gideon, Papa. Papa, that one. Gideon, the father, has the highest degree in Papa, that one. What is it? They can Papa, that one, anything that is Papa, that one. Daddy, please. Read for me. Judges chapter 6. Give the mind to that. Let's read for me. I want to show you something. Give your Papa Lawo. Give your Papa. Greater Papa Lawo. Senior Papa Lawo and Junior Papa Lawo equals to Papa Lawo. Judges what? Judges chapter 6 from verse 11. Pay attention and listen. I want to show you something, everyone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please read louder. And there came an angel of the Lord. There came an angel of the Lord ahead. And sat under an oak, an oak, which was in the offering. Okay. And the pregnant unto the jars is Azabeth. And his son, Gideon, stretched wheat by the white press. Uh -huh. To hide it from the Midianites. Listen. The Bible says that the children of Israel offended God. I get many questions I will ask God on the last day. Many questions. If God ventured to see a great fire, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Because there are some questions I'm going to ask you. The Bible said that the children of Israel offended God. And God delivered them. 
to the media man to deal with them for seven years. The media man were killing the Israel, killing them, punishing them because of what they make mistake. If we keep poor half for sheep, then they come the hard come out. As I mean now, what are you going to do? You go wash up. What God don't go wash? Yeah, he got kind of give them. I mean, the question I will ask for the class. Bible is very complicated, so be careful when you are studying and interpreting Bible. So you will not make mistake. They offended God and God delivered them to the Midianites. So they were suffering and suffering and suffering on that faithful day. The battle came again and Gideon now went ahead and said, Even the Jutu way here in Papa Desa could not save him from the hand of the Midianites. He went to heal himself. He was hiding. And where he was hiding, he forgets that you, you cannot hide it from God. You cannot hide it from God. You may cover your sins that nobody should know. You cannot hide it from God. Did you was hiding no? In this day, the Lord here. And the angel just appeared. See, young man, have eyes. Yes, sir. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him uh -huh. and said unto him, uh -huh. The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of value. Hold it there. An idol worshiper, the son of a Babalawo. How will God be with somebody that is a Babalawo? Are you listening to what I'm teaching you? Hear what the angel said to him The Lord is with thee, the mighty man. Of valor. He will shock you. Say on the last day, people like Aku Akuko, that never heard that heaven. He will shock you. He will be like people you are few. Hey, Aku, what are you? I'll be helpful. Oh. But for now, what we will know. Do not condemn anybody. Because you don't know the relationship God has with those people. This is an idol worshiper, the father, a chief priest. And the angel is telling the, the, the young man, Give your the Lord! Please read it again with the loud voice. And then come an angel uh -huh. and sat on an oak. Go to Gideon's side. Okay. Go to Gideon's side. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him. To him, to who? To Gideon. Uh -huh. And said what? And said uh -huh. unto him, Unto him. The Lord is with thee. The Lord is with thee. Thou mighty man of value. That mighty man of God, the Lord will see Babalawo. <laughs> God, they will Babalawo. And you when they pray, Rakabadaka, Rakabadaka, Orobodoko, Himakadabara, Hiyadaka. God, no, they will see. Babalawo, my God, they will see. You see me? I don't condemn people. You offend me, I can quarrel you. But I don't condemn people. There's a musician in our place, they call me young Bolivian. He said, Ah, to poke you, no come on. Because I remember what I can't wait. You can't beat your hand on the chair for a little child because you don't know what that child will come tomorrow. So I'm very careful when dealing with people. Are you hearing me? Yes, Gideon, the Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of power. Babalawo be king. He will be Babalawo. They know that for that hope, the full village. They are the, the, the what they are the of, all, of that community and God. So as he's trying all that hope, God is with him. Please read us, and there's no time. Oh Jesus. That's it. Yes. And Gideon said unto him, uh -huh. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. If the Lord be with, with us, why then is all this befalling us? And, and will be it not a miracle which our father told us of saying? Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us out of the hands of the Midian. Hold it. <laughs> Give yourself. Oh! You said the Lord is with me. I'm a mighty man of valor. How? If truly the Lord is with me, I'm a mighty man of valor. Then why all this problem of my people? Why do I have to struggle to pay my children's coffee? Why do I have to struggle to take my wife to Dubai for shopping? Why do I have to struggle to have a child? Why do I have to struggle to win a contract? Why do I have to struggle for my destiny to shine? If truly thou 
are with me. Why are we going through this? Was it not our forefathers that told us that you deliver us from the hand of the Egyptians and come? You are forsaking us today in the hand of the Midianites. How come? How come that you have turned your back and push us to the Midianites to kill us? There was a prophecy that you deliver the children of Israel in the hand of Egypt. There were those testimonies that were shared about you. In the same church where others are cashing out and celebrating, and that same church now day, nothing is working for me. Why? Why is my own different? That was the story of Gideon. And Gideon now made a request. Read us, let me show you. Fourteen. Yes. And the Lord looked upon him. The Lord looked upon Gideon. And said, I said, Go in this thy mighty hand of Midian, and ship safe <laughs> from the land of Midian. God said he has anointed you, go. Have not I sent thee? Have I not sent you? So, the son of a Babalawo was actually the Messiah of their community. Babalawo became Babalawo, Babalawo. I don't worship her. Do you know that you are probably the Messiah of your family? You are probably the savior of your community. Then why is your life still in one spot? Something has gone wrong. That thing that has gone wrong is what God has come to correct today. If you believe, say that amen. Well. Amen. Yes, sir. Rush it quickly. Let me finish it. 16. Yes. And the Lord said unto him, uh -huh. Surely I Show. will be with thee. And Show me in the no matter your background. Listen, this is where I come in. Do not mock me. Don't laugh at me. Because I am dead today. Don't look down on me because I don't have money. Don't look down on me because I don't have a child. Don't mock me because my wife has not got it pregnant. Don't mock me because I've not got a job. Don't mock me. For surely, the Lord said he will be with me. Surely, he said he will change my soul. Surely, he said he will help me. So stop mocking me. Don't laugh at me. For today I might be on the ground. Tomorrow I'll be on the top. Don't mock me. Don't mock me. Don't mock me. I prophesy. I don't know where they have been mocking your destiny. I don't know where they have been mocking your marriage. I don't know where they have been mocking your businesses. I don't know where they have been mocking your health. In the name that is above every other name, I prophesy. After this meeting, you are coming out. I say you are coming out. We are going to eat it. Surely, I'll be with you. I'll be with you. The kid don't have any request. Go ahead, sir. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yes. And he said unto me, uh -huh. If now I have found grace in thy sight, kid, you're talking. Then show me a sign that thou takest with me. Depart not hence, I pray thee, until I come unto thee, and I bring forth my present and set it before thee. And he said. I will carry until thou comes again. You hear what Gideon said to God, to the angel? He said, if truly you will be with me, do not go. Wait. Let me rush. And go and do what you asked me to do. Wait for me, because I want to bring you sacrifice. Show me a sign that truly you have asked me. When you engage in fasting and prayer, you engage in so much dancing and celebrating God, the next thing that follows is a sacrifice. Lord, if truly you have accepted my, my thanksgiving today, if truly you have accepted my praise today, wait, I'm coming. Let me bring you a seed. You carry that seed and say, Lord, I drop the seed here. Receive from me and enlarge my cause. Give yourself to him, Lord. If truly you are with me, wait for me. Don't leave me. Help me. Deliver me. Send me from the hands. Of wicked people, send me. Wait until I return. I don't have anything now. Let me go and hustle. Now come back to you 
and I'll put in your hand that which I've hustled so you can bless me massively in return. Amen? Amen. That situation you are in, that challenge you are facing, there's a way out. Hello? Somebody called me from Coracles. Amen. I said to me, Daddy, I said yes. They diagnosed him for a very terrible disease and he was going to go for operation on Friday, last week Friday. He, he did not have money. Somehow, somehow, God used somebody, a woman, to pay 10 million euros for the operation to be carried out. He said, I am not afraid of the operation. My fear is that help me beg God so that he will not allow me to enter the operation room. Allow him to enter the operation room with his sin. He said, I have seen that they have done so terrible things to God. And he is afraid that if he enter that theater, that God might because of his sin not allow him to come and alive. I said to him, I said, my son, God is not a man. God does not receive the way me and you receive. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? The day Jesus was to be crucified, there were two teeth. One of them spoke evil. One spoke calmly. And that day Jesus said to him, you will join me and enter into my father's palace. A criminal, an arm robber that was to be sacrificed. I told him, I said, don't be afraid, my son. You will go and enter into that tear table. You will come out alive. God is not going to hold your sin against you. Stop being guilty. He said, I cry. He said, I have offended God. I've done so. He has done so many things. Oh, he's afraid that if he enters inside this theater, that he might not come out alive. I said, You that devil, I rebuke you. I said, Go inside. You will come out alive. So are you sure God will forgive me? I said, God has forgiven you already, my son. Ask me, did he come out alive? He came out alive. It's even in church now I'm talking to you. Someone that was operated day for yesterday, major operation. God did not judge him by his sin. Then who are you to judge me? Who are you to say I am not qualified when God has qualified me? God does not call those that are qualified. He qualified those he called. If God calls you, he will qualify you. I see qualification coming upon someone here today. Amen. Who is that person? Who is that person? Who is that person? Who is that person? I see qualification coming upon you today. Amen. I see qualification coming upon you today. Amen. If you shut the hand and wait on the one I think. Just wait those hands to him. Stand your feet, everyone. Don't kill yourself. You are among the most serious man on earth. Your sin alone. It's not capable to put you where you are. On Sunday, I'm going to preach the part two of this Gideon story. The message that God sent him, I will show it to you on Sunday. So on this month, we're going to be dealing on this issue. Power from his father's house that has stopped him from becoming a mighty man. On Sunday, I will show you. You hear me say, I hear you. Talk to me, say, I hear you, sir. I hear you, sir. Don't give up on your situation. You are special, wonderfully, prayerfully made. Don't give up. Let's go for you. This year, 2024, do not let anybody intimidate you. Oh, I'm not talking to somebody else. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Tell me, shut up! I can do it more than you hundred times. Don't let them ridicule you. Don't let them say you are too small to carry 200 billion dollars. You hear me? 
Take them at 200 billion dollars is a change to where I am. This year, if they package and go on TikTok, you package and go on YouTube. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, these people are not in trouble. I that mean, is, if they rub powder, do video, you rub a cake, rub foundation, do video. Are you here? I'm saying, don't let anybody intimidate you with anything this year. If they post your car, you don't get go car, car garage and say, Lord, this is the car I want to drive this year. Snap up. My new baby are alive. Who want that? Make it. You think you people are not just here? You're not here. Yeah, you're not here. Don't give chances this year. Are you hearing me? I did a video last week. In that video, I was. Oh, I did think I said, this week nobody will send me money at all. Nobody send me money. I call my boys. I said, nobody will send me money. Does it mean all my sons and daughters are sleeping? That's okay, let me wake them up. That's why I carry the camera. Video me. That's why I'm tired. I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand what's going on. Don't talk, 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 talk. Now I carry my garlic, carry my coconuts. Now I'm beginning to enjoy myself. And I said, John, I want to finish me here. Those were not big call me, sis. I'm in it. He said, Daddy, what's going on? I said, go back and watch the video. Go back and watch the video. I prank all of you. Those were not some money before the police. 